Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. Today we are doing a recipe called Sticky Rice Cakes, aka, bear with me one minute, uh, Dan, okay, which is a Korean recipe. We're doing a recipe from Korea. We are going international, baby. Now, Monica Lee sent this request over, so thank you, Monica, I, uh, I love you. And these are all the ingredients you need, so hit pause on the video right now and write them all down. Now, you need something called rice flour, uh, sweet rice flour for this recipe. And you can see the packaging I've had here. Um, I had to go to a Chinese supermarket to get that, which was an experience in itself. I'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute. Um, and it's like this, okay? So it's kind of like flour, but it's sort of like a rice flour. And the texture of it is very, very light. And I'm not, and I never will be, and never have been, um, a Class A drug user, but I'd imagine that's a little bit like what cocaine is. So um, anyhow, we're just gonna move on with this recipe. And in a little bit, I couldn't go to a Chinese store without buying some fortune cookies. And I've got a list of names here that I need to actually uh, mention. So I'm gonna read out your fortunes, and also my own. And I had to get some wasabi paste as well, which I'm gonna use in a prank video very soon. So anyhow, let's crack on with this recipe, and I'll tell you a little story about my uh, trip to the Chinese supermarket. <laughs> yes. Okay then guys, so for this recipe you're gonna need a mixing bowl like this. You can actually use a steamer if you've got one, but I haven't got one. It's quite easy to make a homemade one, Google it. Some of you suggested I do that. I'm gonna be even lazier and use the microwave. Okay, so we've got ourselves this mixing bowl that will fit in the microwave. Let's first of all grab our cocaine. Ooh. I mean uh, sweet rice flour, okay? Just put that in there like that, nice and gently. If you do it from a great height, it's probably gonna puff up everywhere, and you don't want that, because then you will get on your nose and other people will worry about you. I'm worried about you. Okay, uh, two tablespoons of sugar, from a great height. Yeah. See that going in? Loving it. A pinch of salt, just in the shot glass there, maybe about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, something like that. So it's white on white. Ah, it's stuck, come on guys. It's been in there for quite a while, sorry. White on white on white right here. So grab yourself a fork or a spoon or a knife, anything like that, and just got to mix it together, like this, okay? Okay, so with that all stirred in together, we're gonna add our water to it, okay? And hopefully, after we stir it together, it's gonna make a funky toothpaste. So while I pour this water in, let me tell you a little bit about the story that happened to me. So it's probably the coolest tweet I've ever had, actually. So I was wandering around this Chinese supermarket, wondering what I was doing. And as I got out of the supermarket, I was like, kind of like, oh my God, some of the things in there were kind of cool, weird and wonderful, as the tweet said. And I just sort of like tweeted, as you do. Wow, I just went in a Chinese supermarket and it was weird. And no joke, within 30 seconds, I had a tweet back from the supermarket that don't even follow me saying weird and wonderful. And I was like, oh my God, it's like I'm being stalked or something, but I don't know, they must have some sort of software or something. So anyhow, that was kind of cool. And I recommend if you can get to um, a funky sort of Chinese supermarket like that. Have a look at some of the ingredients in there, you know, it'll blow your mind. You might want to use them in your recipe, okay? So I'm just gonna stir this together, make sure we get it all down from the edges, make a funky paste. It's all good. Keep stirring for a bit, it should thicken up. Okay guys, what we're after is a nice thick consistency with this recipe. So I've got a little bit more rice flour and it does even look even more dodgy now it's in this clear bag. So what we're doing is just keep stirring it through and you can see it's kind of thick now. We want that sort of thickness of almost like tough pasty, wallpapery paste. Sort of still liquidy, but sort of half liquidy, half pasty, okay? So it's thick, stir it all through, you don't want any lumps in it. Okay then guys, so I've been stirring that, adding it in, and don't worry, the measurements that I gave you at the beginning of the video were the entire amounts I used. That's kind of clever, isn't it? I've gone back and edited it. <laughs> um, anyhow, yeah, so there we go. This is the thickness, it's all sort of thick and gloopy. You want it like this. What we're gonna do now is actually put it in the microwave to steam it, okay? We're gonna put cling film layer over the top. In fact, let's have a little taste of this. I'm wondering what it's gonna taste like. It's a bit flowery. Let's heat it up and see what happens to it. Yeah. Okay guys, no pun intended, but I'm gonna put a protective sheath over this now with my cling film, like so. Just roll out enough. I hate cling film, it's just rubbish, isn't it? It's just, I don't know, you know, what, what its purpose in life is other than to frustrate people and just get it all wrapped around your fingers. But for this, it's gonna work. We just seal it round, like so. Just nice and rough, as long as you get it sealed under the lip of your mixing bowl. Just keep working it round. Do -do 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 -do. Cool, now we plonk it in the microwave. Okay, so with my 800 watt microwave, that is going in there. I'm gonna put it in there for four minutes. There we go, and remember guys, if you're an idiot, 
take out your fork, okay? I nearly did that, and we'd probably see some explosions if I kept it in there around about now. So let's quickly do some fortune cookie shout outs and see what your fortune is if you were selected. Okay, so I asked you guys earlier if you wanted your fortune read out and the first 11 people to reply got it done. So uh, here we go, I've got the list of names here. I'm gonna open the fortune cookies and literally just read them out. Oh, they're in your DVD pack. And if you're wondering, can you eat fortune cookies? Yes, you can, my friends. You can eat fortune cookies. They might not taste good. And in fact, the fortune in the middle really won't taste good, but you can, you can eat them. Okay, Sherry, let's, uh, let's have a look at your fortune. Look, look, let's snap it open. Your fortune, Sherry, is Someone is speaking well of you. Okay, Gary Higgins, let's have a look at you. Let's spread this open. In fact, yeah, these ones don't taste good. Gary, everyone smiles in the same language. Carrie Ulmerod, okay, you ready for this? Rawr. Let's have a look. Wow, that went everywhere. I'm gonna have to tidy that up. Oh, that's upside down. That's upside down. You see that? Upside down. It says, you have almost accomplished everything you want in life. Kerry Mitchell, ah, there we go. Wow, this one don't want to come out and I nearly ripped it. That would have been bad. Okay, cool. Do not mistake temptation for opportunity, Kerry. Okay, Jeff Milchek, Jeff Milchek, let's have a go. Rawr. Tomorrow will be a good day to get things done, which probably just means today, just, just have a sleep, yeah? Good one, Jeff. Susie Chivers, let's have a look at yours. Well, that one came out easy. That was just like, oh, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. You are very expressive and positive in words, act and feeling. Wow, you're dominant. Okay, Gina Jones, this one is for you. And remember, for those others who are asking to have their fortune read out, I'm gonna buy some more boxes of this because it's kind of cool. Right, let's have a look. Gina Jones, Gina Jones. Oh, wow, big mess down there. Thursday will be a good day for making an important decision. Um, I got news for you. It's Thursday, the day I'm filming this, so uh, maybe the important decision is to make this recipe, right? Uh, I don't know. Robin Wiley. Wow, I broke that a lot. Oh dear. I felt strong though. I was like, Kah! right, Robin Wiley. Remember to share good fortune with your friends, which means if you win the lottery, give it to all your friends, and then you just carry on with life as normal, I guess. Okay, David, you didn't really tell me how to pronounce your name. You said just have a go and guess. So I'm gonna say David Melhead, 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 Melhead. I don't know, I'm gonna say that and you just tell me which one I got right. They're probably all wrong. David, those who care will make the effort. I care, will you make the effort? Did that make sense? No, it didn't. Maybe you should care and then you'll make the effort. Okay, it's one of the most amazing names of the people that follow my videos, Inika van der Poel. I love that name. You know, I'm half mulling over going and getting my name changed tomorrow to Inika van der Poel. I love that name, it's awesome. Right, anyhow, amazing cracker. I don't know if you saw the size of that one. It was like a Godzilla cracker right there. Okay, Inika, he who knows he has enough is rich. Right, second from last, and I've just sort of destroyed this one. Wow, power. This one is for Danny Mayer, and the last one will be for myself. <laughs> Can't cook, won't cook. Love it. That's my story, guys. Started off, recipe one, couldn't cook, wouldn't cook. Now look at me. Making Korean food and regional fortune cookies to you guys. <laughs> okay, last but not least, it's me, and then I'm gonna take you off here, and you can see the mess I've made down here. Uh-oh, see what we got in store for Barry. Let's see what we got, baby. You are very expressive and positive in words, act, and feeling. I think I, I think that might be true. I would like to express my feelings. I like to express my feelings. I do like to express my feelings. Anyhow, look at the mess that I've made. I need to get rid of all of those. So if you like that fortune cookie include and you want to have your fortune cookie uh, read out, just send me a little message and I'll put you on the next list. There's a box of 12, so uh, we'll read them out. Anyway, let's carry on with this recipe. We've got some work to do. We make cooking fun. That's what we do. Okay, I'm just waiting for it to finish off. About a minute left. If you're interested and you're thinking, how the heck did he write out all these fortune cookies? I kind of edited that beforehand. I didn't do that while I'm waiting for the microwave. I'm kind of watching the microwave like that. It's going to come out. It's going to be kind of firm. I'm going to knead it with our fork. Meanwhile, here's a cool activity for you to do. 
grab your cake like so and just grab your hand and go Rawr! just break it up into crumbs try not to get it outside of your bowl like that but just break it up because we're actually going to roll our dough you actually call it dough in that once you're done okay so break it up nice and fine into crumbs yeah okay so it's ready the microwave has just gone off and i broke down my cake as much as i could but if i need it broken down a little bit more break it down i'm gonna get out again in a bit and just sort of play around with it anyhow the microwave bit is done wow i pierced a teeny little hole jesus wow that is hot sorry i didn't mean to say jesus i'm not religious i'm just ah i should have said sorry yeah okay let's pull this out wow that is hot so give it just a minute and that should all be firm under there it's going to be nice and solid. We need to knead it constantly with our fork and give it literally 30 seconds to cool down and we knead it away. Okay, so before I unwrap it, if you're wondering what it's smelling like, it's a little bit like rice pudding actually, which actually was my nan who unfortunately passed away. He's my best friend's best favourite dish ever. Love you, nan. Anyhow, let's try and take this wrapper off. Wow, it's hot. Okay, okay. That really is hot. Look, if I start to bash it, can you see how sticky that is on the top? Let me hold it up a little bit without burning my hands. Can you see that? It's kind of like a jelly. Now you really want to work that in. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be like that. Right, we need to just like break it down now. And just keep kneading it up and down with this fork. Do this for a good five minutes. Play around with it. Because in a minute, once it cools down, you're going to get your hands on that bad boy. And you're going to need a little bowl of water to wash your hands in. Teeny little hands. Teeny little hands. Okay then folks, so I'm just really hacking away at this. Look, look at that, it's like a giant... I'm not gonna say what I think that is, but just keep going for it. Now you're gonna love it, you're gonna care it, you're gonna hack it, you're gonna treat it bad, it's gonna be tough love. You wanna be right in there, playing around with it. Wow, that was kind of fun. Okay, so I've given it a darn good beating, and one thing that you will find is it's really, really sticky. If I was to put this on my face right now, one, it's really hot, I don't wanna do that, and two, probably be the best facial you'll ever have. So what we're gonna do once it has cooled down, I don't wanna put my chocolate chips in yet because it's gonna melt it, although you could do that if you want a melted texture inside it. I'm gonna let it cool down, pour in my chocolate chips and stir it together, and then scatter them, roll it round in the cake mix, and then we eat it. Okay, so my mixture has cooled down sufficiently now. I'm just gonna pour in my chocolate chips. As you can see, I've got a mixture of white and dark chocolate chips, so I'm sort of being uh, multicultural. Ticking all the boxes, let's just, uh, Got those in there, like so. And all we're going to do is carry on hacking away with our fork and just embedding them all in there. Now the mixture is quite sticky, so it should all hold it together and hug it. Yeah. Okay then guys, so you know how I said that I was going to have a nice funky chocolate chip layer? Well, that kind of changed, it was too hot in the middle. But we've made ourselves a really funky chocolatey batter like this. Look, it's like a big sort of chocolate brain. And all you need to do is wash your hands. I've already made one, if you're keen eyes, you can see it just in the background there. Wash your hands, it'll make the dough a little bit less sticky. Grab your hands in there and pull like a little bit of dough out like that, okay? And the more you work it like that, your hands are gonna to start to dry a little bit and you can mold it into the shape of a ball. And when you're happy, just get your cake crumbs on it, scatter it all over, duh, 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 duh. and then you can keep sort of shaping it into a ball if you like, we do any other shape, but I believe ball is the, is the shape of choice. Wow, it's actually gonna be kind of a big one. And there we go, that is it all done. Just sit it on there. And that's how you make them. Choo choo! Okay then guys, so I've made a couple on a plate here. I'm just gonna pick one up and uh, let's just randomly go for this little one here. We wanna take it easier, so, uh, you yeah, know, first of all. There we go, look at it, let's go. That's really good. That was kind of surprising, because you, you, although you know it's squidgy and soft, I was expecting it to be rock hard. Mmm. That chocolate flavor is threading through it, but behind all that, there's like this real sort of rice puddingy taste. That is really delicious. And obviously you've got the, um, the cake crumbs on top. Remember, you don't have to do it the way I did it. You can put anything you want on the top and also in the middle, you can leave it plain if you want and literally just have it with the cake crumbs on it. That really is good. So simple to make. The ingredients were minimal. Remember, you can just pick that flour up in most Chinese stores, some supermarkets as well, or order it online. Thank you so much for all the international recipe suggestions that are coming through. Keep sending them in. I will get through them eventually. I'm gonna carry on and finish these bad boys off. Loving it. So if I can make it, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. And I'll see you again next time.